The Great Depression by Arn Emmons. Brief Summary The United States experienced its worst economic crisis from 1929 to 1941 known as the Great Depression. The Great Depression started when the stock market crashed and not only affected the United States but the whole world. Previous to the Great Depression the 1920s, also known as the Roaring Twenties, was a time of wealth, success and a booming economy. The booming economy was due to a wide variety of new technological advances including electricity, telephones, radios and cars all being produced in masses. As a result of the need for these technologies, Industries were needed, infrastructures were built and the need for jobs was present. Many people quickly moved into the cities for work. With work means money and with money brings fun. Americans began to dance, watch movies, and do other activities in the city. Since Americans had no money they began to invest and purchase stocks. Investors and people who bought stocks were so common that more and more banks opened every day. Stock Market Crash During the 1920s the stock market went through rapid expansion reaching its peak right before it crashed. The stock market crashed on October 29, 1929 which is now known as Black Tuesday. The day the stock market crashed 16,410,030 shares were traded on the New York Stock Exchange and billions of dollars were lost. Many investors were wiped out. Herbert Hoover Herbert Hoover was president from 1929 to 1933 during the worst decade in United States history. Herbert Hoover took a laissez-faire approach to the Great Depression, and that's part of the reason Americans put a lot of blame on Hoover. Hoover's only effort to get Americans more jobs was the Hoover Dam which came too late. FDR ran against him in the election of 1936 and won. Americans believed Hoover didn't care about the people's struggles which is why the poor towns were called Hoovervilles. Holly Smoot Tariff In 1930, the Holly Smoot Tariff was put in place by Reed Smoot and Willis Holly. President Hoover signed it and it became the highest tariff in U.S. history. The tariff raised taxes on imported goods to make people buy U.S. made goods. FDR becomes president. Roosevelt had won a landslide victory over Hoover, ending 12 years of Republican rule. Hoover did little to help end the Great Depression. FDR passed many programs to provide jobs for Americans including the Civilian Conservation Corps, CCC, Civil Works Administration, QA, Public Works Administration, PUA, and more. He is credited with ending the effects of the Depression on Americans. FDR's programs. FDR created many programs to get Americans jobs and back on their feet. Many Americans lost their jobs when the stock market crashed. The CCC was a public project intended to promote environmental conservation and provide jobs for around 500,000 young men. FDR also created programs that are still used today like the Dick and the Hulk. FDR programs continued. The Quill was created to relieve the unemployment in America. 
The Quill did construction work for the federal government. They did things like building schools, airports, roads, public buildings and lawn care. The Quill created four million jobs. The Public Works Association, PUA, was also created to relieve unemployment. The PUA allowed for people to be hired to fix the public works, things like roads, bridges and dams. The program was directed by Harold Ickes. Dust Bowl Along with extreme economic depression, the 1930s were filled with dust storms. The Dust Bowl was severe drought that struck the Midwestern and Southern Plains in the 1930s. Beginning in 1931, a series of continuous dust storms ruined all the cropland in the Midwest and Southern Plains. The Dust Bowl didn't just affect the farmers whose crops were ruined but it affected the people who relied on those farmers for food in the north. The Dust Bowl lengthened the Great Depression and lasted until 1939. Second New Deal the Second New Deal was put in place for all the critics who complained that the New Deal wasn't supportive. People thought the New Deal programs weren't permanent and wouldn't last. The Second New Deal created a program called the WPA, or Works Progress Administration. The WPA gave people more direct assistance from the federal government. Roosevelt re-elected. In 1936 Roosevelt ran against Alf Landon. Landon was the governor of Kansas. Roosevelt was so well liked by America that he won by a landslide. Roosevelt and his committee were so confident in their victory that they only paid for one advertisement. The election 1936 was one of the largest wins of any election. Roosevelt's one advertisement. Fair Labor Standards Act the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938 established a minimum wage, overtime pay, employment standards and the keeping of payroll history. This was a very important part in the ending of the Great Depression because it protected workers from unfair and unhealthy working conditions. End of the Great Depression by 1939 still one in five Americans could not find a job. This was until millions of Americans were drafted into World War II. About 12 million Americans were drafted into the war taking care of the unemployment issues at home. Not only did people get jobs from getting drafted into the war but the people who stayed home worked to supply our military with everything it needed. The war ended the worst economic and agricultural drought in United States history.